Hi, I'm Janice Lee. I'm the clinical director for the NIDCR, and I'm the chief of the craniofacial anomalies regeneration section. The cleft lip and palate is the most common craniofacial anomaly. And typically we can identify this while the baby is growing in utero or uh, identified shortly after birth. And this is a condition in which instead of a continuous lip, there is a notch or there's a full defect that extends up into the nose. And so the lip is in two segments. And you can imagine this affects the way a child can feed. Um, and it certainly is a, um, a condition that affects the entire family because oftentimes birth defects are conditions that require treatment by a comprehensive craniofacial anomalies team.